Good evening and welcome to Henry County Public Schools Family Connect. I'm your host for tonight, Monica Hatchett, and I'm excited to welcome tonight some of our students from Magna Vista High School. So I'm going to ask these gentlemen to introduce themselves and tell you a little bit about something new that they're trying this year. Uh, my name is CJ Hughes and I am a senior at Magna Vista. And I'm Lake Eanes and I'm a senior at Magna Vista as well. And you'll notice they're wearing shirts that say soda, and it's not all just about fun and games. Students organized for developing attitudes is what soda's all about. It existed in the Henry County Public Schools several years ago and now is making a comeback. Tell us a little bit about what soda is all about. Um, soda is basically uh, when high schoolers like us go down to the middle school level and kind of help students with um, things such as developing their attitudes, um, making sure that they can cooperate with others, um, helping them with peer pressure, just different things like that to make sure that they're on a good guide when they go to high school. And it's more like a, it's a peer-led, um, you know, group, so it's not, so they get, you know, more, they'll listen to us more because we're the people that they look up to and, and it, we can just relate to them more because, you know, they, they, like I said, they look up to us, so it's easier for them to take what we're saying and actually uh, do it, yeah. I guess. <laughs> well, that's a good way to describe it. It's essentially an extension of character education that students get in elementary school through their guidance classes. This year they're doing that through the Lions Club, Lions Quest curriculum, and the extension in middle school is also coming through SODA. So tell me how you became interested in being part of SODA. Um, well, they, they, one day they called us out of class, and I didn't know what it was for. And then when they told us, and I just, I just knew how I remembered uh, having the, the football players come down to, it was in elementary school when they used to come see me. But you know, I, everything they did, I try to, you know, reflect and do in my life. So I know that if, if we can do that to them at the sixth grade level or whatever, it would be very helpful to them. So, and I always want to help the best that I can. So, yeah. That's, that's basically the saying. They called us out of class, and we, we didn't know what we were going into. So, and then we had the little meeting and stuff, and that kind of like filled us in on what we were getting ourselves into. So it sounds like you're probably already part of a role model group at your school as student athletes, as leaders within your class. Maybe some of those are reasons why you were selected to be part of SODA. Now, you recently participated in a day-long training at Patrick Henry Community College with mentors from the CHILL organization, from Piedmont Community Services, and from some other groups. Tell me a little bit about what that training involves for you and your peers who will then turn around and be leaders for students in the middle schools. Um, they, the uh, adult counselors or whatever over us, they put us through, they basically put us through what we're going to be putting our classes through and to, to help us know how to run the um, the lessons every time we go uh, so that we it'll be easier for us to like it won't be just like we're just doing it on our own they they put us through it so that we know how it should be worked and they gave us feedback on what needs to be changed and so that we can help them the best that we can yeah they also showed us a couple of activities that we would be performing for the middle schoolers and how to best utilize uh, what we know to display the activities good and that was something that we had to learn how to do and sometimes that feedback can be hard right oh yeah definitely uh, while I was there I heard them saying you know you should do it this way or this is what you need to do to improve your presentation talk a little bit about the pieces of the presentation if I'm a parent watching right now what do I need to know about what my student will experience when they are in soda well I mean first it's gonna be we're gonna make sure it's gonna be like fun it's not gonna be you know something that you have to sit down and you'll be into it you'll be interactive and all the time and we're gonna be not like teachers we're just gonna be like a friendly you know you you know this is what you should do and all that so it's not it's just gonna be something like I said it's gonna be fun it's something that'll stick to you like nobody it's easier to, to remember something that you had fun doing than it is to remember something that you were kind of bored sitting through. So that's basically what it's going to be like. 
Yeah, and then like I said before about the activities, that's that's another thing that'll keep uh, the middle schoolers engaged and uh, just doing the, by doing those things, they'll enjoy that more. All right, so tell me what some of the topics are that will be covered. Um, some of the topics include like talking about peer pressure, uh, talking about drugs, why you shouldn't use them, and how to say no to drugs. Um, then self worth, meaning like you should appreciate yourself, you should take, you shouldn't take yourself for granted, and then um, also cooperating with others, meaning learning how to work with others, um, and being able to team up and get stuff done. And what do you feel like some of the most um, important activities that you all did through your training were? What meant the most to you? Um, probably uh, peer pressure, because I mean I haven't really had like a bad uh, experience with peer pressure, but I know people that have, and the f like going through it, and then knowing that I'm going to be able to teach kids about being uh, about peer pressure and being able to say no. It, it, it makes me happy because some of those people that I've uh, seen suffer from um, peer pressure or whatever, um, it it kind of hurt you know hurts me to see them go out like that. So the fact that I can I'm going to be able to make a, a impact on young kids' lives so that they don't ever have to worry about you know going under peer pressure. Yeah, and then uh, mine would probably be like working with others. So. You, you may be able to do a task by yourself, but it can become a whole lot easier if you're with a group or with a partner, and you got to learn how to do that. Those are great ideas, things that even adults could probably use a refresher on from time to time, yeah. so they sound like they'll be lifelong lessons that the middle school students will learn from you all, and that yeah. I'm sure you all will continue to learn as you teach those to the middle school students and facilitate those activities. One of the activities or lessons that I observed while I was at your training was all about social media and online safety. When we come back, we're going to have some of Lake and CJ's peers come over and tell us a little bit about what is important for us to know about online and social media safety? American Auto Spa on Virginia Avenue in Collinsville. And don't forget, the Pet Wash is open 24-7. Bassett Physical Therapy specializes in sports medicine, physical, occupational, pediatric, and aquatic therapies. Our professional staff is ready to help you today. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. Bassett PT has changed my life, and they can change yours too. Bassett Physical Therapy is located in the heart of Stanleytown within minutes of Bassett, Collinsville, Fieldale, and Martinsville. It's worth the drive for quality care. Bassett Physical Therapy, changing lives one person at a time. You're watching BTW21, your neighborhood network, the pride of Martinsville. is now. At Blue Ridge Nissan in Martinsville during the Drive Home a Winter event, you'll get top dollar for your trade and record-setting savings by up to $5,000 off a new Ultima. That's up to $5,000 off a new Ultima. Plus, we offer our exclusive warranty forever. Get the deal of a lifetime and drive home a winner for a limited time only during the Drive Home a Winter event. Blue Ridge Nissan in Martinsville, your low price leader. Across from the Speedway on Greensboro Road. Also, shop with us online at thebluridgeway.com. Sign up for Pharmacy Text Alerts today. It's a simple, easy way to refill your prescription. Simply go online and register at www.refillrx.com or download the app to your smartphone. Getting your prescriptions just got easier at Family Pharmacy in Stanleytown, serving our community since 1996. 
At Southern Virginia Properties, you will receive friendly, reliable service for all your real estate needs. I really appreciated the patience and the time that Missy took with me and the flexibility into going to various houses, as well as being friendly and courteous and very professional. I chose Marlene as Southern Virginia Properties, an excellent company, very professional. Uh, I wouldn't deal with anybody else. Thank you. Welcome back to Family Connect. This evening we are talking with students from Magna Vista High School who are in a new organization called SODA. It stands for Students Organized for Developing Attitudes. And this group of students will be working with middle schoolers to help develop that character education and lifelong character skills that our students need. And I have some new guests with me since the break. And I'll ask you ladies to introduce yourselves. Um, I'm Brianna Milner, and I'm a sophomore at Magna Vista High School. And I'm Sierra Diller, and I'm a sophomore as well. All right, now, when I was at your training the other day at Patrick Henry, you all were presenting in a larger group a lesson that you will share with middle school students at Laurel Park this year, and it was all about being safe online, being responsible with your social media usage, and the things that students need to know. Tell me a little bit about the lesson that you presented and the pieces that are involved. So basically what we talked about was social media and the good things about it and the bad things about it. But we mainly focus on the bad things such as don't post anything inappropriate. If you wouldn't want your mom to see it, then don't post it. And some good things about it is it can help you make new friends, you can post pictures, um, just promote yourself like that. And um, also we had like different activities to go with the stuff that we did and like we were showing the people that were in there with us what we were going to show the kids or whatever. So. All right, so tips or cautions. What do students need to remember? What are some of the things that they need to learn from that lesson? Since not all of us will be there when you present it at Laurel Park. Um, some things about the bad things about um, social media is when you're posting stuff, make sure that it's not something that's very inappropriate because you might not know this, but everyone watches what you do, even as you get older, and you don't want to go to a job interview and they not hire you because you posted a bad picture that was from sixth grade. So even though you think that no one's going to see it when you delete it, someone always can pull it up. And that's also, true. if you're an athlete, that can affect you too. Like, um, other colleges can be looking at you, they see that you have good grades, you're a good student athlete, you respect your coaches, but they see other stuff on social media and that'll make them reject you because of what you posted or something that you said or anything. And we were talking as a group during the break about recent news articles where college athletes have lost scholarships because of things they've posted on social media that maybe were not very favorable to them or to other people or organizations. Um, inappropriate gestures posted in pictures on social media that have caused teams to be disqualified from competitions even. Um, if I'm a student and I'm in a group and they decide to post a picture like that, what should I do? I mean, you could ask them to remove it. If they don't, then you could take it to a administrator, a teacher, or somebody Coach. before you leave school. Don't wait until you get home and then the situation gets worse over time. So. And we hear a lot about student conflict or student issues related to social media. Not so much happening at school, but a lot of times that conversation spills over into the school day. Talk a little bit about the different forms of social media that parents need to be aware of. If I'm a parent watching right now, what do I need to know that students in Henry County are probably using? Um, some social media things include Snapchat, um, Instagram, some old ones like Kick and stuff like that. Just if you're a parent, just watch your kid, like do routine like phone checks because that's what my mom does. And it actually helps you because it's, you're not tempted to do bad stuff on your phone. You're pretty much going to know, oh, my mom's going to check my phone. I don't need to put anything bad on it. All right. And what about if I don't know how to check that? If I don't know how Snapchat works, are there pieces of advice that you could give parents to tell them 
how to learn a little more about it or what they need to do? Um, you can actually download it on your phone as well and just follow your kid because that's what my mom does. And she follows me and it's kind of cool because she can just look at my story and be like, oh, I saw where you posted that. But it's, it's also so that they can keep a watch on you. They are excellent conversation pieces. I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> or you can like look up videos or something or some way to figure out a way to look at it so you don't have to like, so you can take their phone and see what they're doing because if you like going through it with them, then they'll go through stuff that they don't, they, they do want you to see, but like, now, social media is not all bad. We don't want to present a doom and gloom picture for parents and cause a little bit of heartache or upset. There are great ways that students use social media. Tell us a little bit about how you use social media and why it's beneficial for you. Um, like, okay, I'm an athlete, so you can post stuff about your team, good stuff about your team. Um, you can tell when games are or something like that. and. You can just like promote people to come out to your game or something like that. That's a good way. And sometimes I actually use it. So if like I forgot an assignment, I will actually text someone on Snapchat because I might not necessarily have their number, but I might have their Snapchat. So I would text them and ask them what the assignment was. It's a great way for us to connect and engage with one another, with members of our community, with our fans. We have some really great um, Twitter groups that follow our athletes very closely and promote those and support them in a lot of different ways, so that's really exciting. Before we go to break, any last minute thoughts or ideas that you have for students or parents about being responsible, being safe online? What do I really need to know? Um, just watch what you do on social media. Make sure you know what you're posting. And make sure that you know that it can affect other people. And just before you post something, think or something like that. And then your parents, just make sure you have talks with your child and let them know the bad stuff about social media, the good stuff about social media. And make sure they know what they're getting themselves into before they do what they do. Anything to add? Okay. All right, when we come back, we're going to get some final thoughts, and we have a few weekly reminders for families as we move into our second week of school, our first full week of school. Our students are working hard, and we want you to know all about the great things that are happening in our schools. Come back. Well, there's this guy I like, but he won't give me the time of day because of the car I drive. Well, get your life kick-started with this 2017 Expedition. Get $11,000 off this Ford Expedition where everybody knows cars cost less. Come see us at Nelson Ford where we make buying cars fun. It's all shook up. August 11th, 13th, 17th, and 19th at PACC Walker Theater. Go to PACCPatronPlayers.com slash tickets. Clarence's Steakhouse is more than just a steakhouse. We have breakfast, lunch specials seven days a week with dine-in and carry-out orders. We have served our community for over 45 years and we treat every customer just like family. So whether you want a fresh cut steak or all you can eat fish every Friday night at Clarence's, just stop by and be part of the Clarence's family. Clarence's Steakhouse is located at 6636 Greensboro Road in Ridgeway. You're watching BTW21, your neighborhood network, the pride of Martinsville. My family and I and our staff would like to say thank you for the last 20 years of being able to serve you. If you're having any back problems, neck problems, headaches, we'd like to help you. I'm here Monday through Friday to serve you. Give our office a call. 632-3334. If you're ready to stop the pain, call Hill Chiropractic Center, 1141 Memorial Boulevard. I'm Danae Thompson, a pharmacist here at Chatham Family Pharmacy, where we have a full range of prescription and non-prescription products, nationally certified pharmacy technicians, and can offer you friendly service with a minimal weight and the lowest prices in the area. We offer compliance packaging, free delivery up to 10 miles, and are conveniently located on Highway 29 in Tight Squeeze Plaza. 
So stop by and find out how we can help you and your family be healthy at Chatham Family Pharmacy. Bingo! Family fun for everyone. Fontaine Brewerton Bingo every Tuesday night. Win cash prizes. Doors open at 5.30. Games start at 7. Visit Fontaine Brewerton Club online or on social media for updates, prize amounts, and more. Proceeds benefit our community, scholarships, and local school children. Fontaine Brewerton Club, 1903 Joseph Martin Highway, Martinsville. Welcome back to Family Connect. Tonight we have been joined by members of Magna Vista High School's SODA group and that stands for Students Organized for Developing Attitudes. This group of students will visit Laurel Park Middle School how many times throughout the course of the year? Six. 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 So Laurel Park students, you can look forward to working with a large group of SODA members. They'll travel in small groups amongst your classrooms to talk with you about really important topics, things that will help you to become a better student and a better citizen. In the time we have left, I just want each of you to tell us a little bit about what everybody needs to know. What does it mean to be a good student, a good citizen in Henry County at Magna Vista High School? What do you think that means to you and what do our Ball Park Middle School students need to learn when they meet with you guys? Um, I can say you need to try to be a role model as best as possible, uh, meaning that you should try to act your, on your best behavior, try to help people out, try to um, just, just be a role model basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you need to go out into your community and just be great towards your community because your commu you are the next generation. So you need to just go out and help your community and let it keep striving. Also for your school, you're representing your school, so you want to be a good representation for your school too. Um, just like the, the role models that you look up to, you know, they, they were once in your, sp in your position. So you just got to do all the right things, you know, keep your grades up and do good in, in classes and just be, a, just be a role model for somebody else that's coming behind you. And these guys are experts. They're all student athletes, student leaders in their school, so they've learned this lesson themselves and they can speak from experience. Tell us real quickly also for each of you, maybe somebody who's really influenced you. It can be a peer or an adult. Uh, my parents have really influenced me. They've kept me in line and made sure I make right decisions. and so. Um, actually, my teachers and my mom, because um, they just encourage me every day um, to keep going for my goals and what I want to go towards. Uh, well, my parents, and then of course, you know, my uh, my teammates. They, you know, seeing them grow makes me want to be better, and and you know, the the vibe that I get when I'm with them makes me want to do the best that I can do. I would have to say what he said, my parents and teammates, because my teammates are like family, and my parents, they push me, and my teammates push me to get better every day, and it's just good influences that they push you, and it just makes you want to do better. So. Well, thank you all for being with us tonight. We appreciate the time that you're devoting to being part of SODA, to influencing younger peers of yours, and it also sounds like to influencing your teammates and your classmates and your family members as well. We appreciate the things that you do as role models so that you can then turn around and share that information with other students, hoping that they will also become those great citizens in our community. Families, we have just a few announcements to share with you this evening as reminders. Number one and most important, school has started. The school needs to know your most updated information. If you have not completed InfoSnap enrollment updates, that needs to be done this week, preferably tonight. Make sure that you call the school, get your SNAP code, go online, and fill out your student's information. This information update does take the place of all of the papers that you traditionally fill out at the beginning of the school year, including important information like how to contact you if your child is ill at school, the allergy information our cafeterias need, any medical information our school and teachers need. So please make sure that you get up to date on InfoSnap. Additionally, we want to welcome you to our fall sports activities, and we have a lot of those coming up. When's your first football game? 
25th. Okay, so the 25th of August, we expect to see you at Magna Vista High School cheering on the Warriors, and lots of days between now and the 25th. We have sports activities across the county, Bassett High School, FC Middle School, Laurel Park Middle School. Boys and girls athletes are competing this fall, and they would love to have your support at their events. Maybe tell us just a minute, what does that mean to you to see an audience full of people? It just, it, to, to me, it, it, it drives me, one, because uh, I, I feel special playing in the same stadium that my dad played in and then just seeing you know us out there making an impact on the 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 crowd you know and when we do something good you know it just it's just a good vibe and it, it pushes you to to do better when you're out there playing so it's good excitement get your drilling and immersion our support is important for our students please make sure that you take the time to visit our schools visit our athletic activities if you have time during the school day parents and community members we would love to have you as a volunteer volunteering is free all you have to do is get your driver's license scanned when you come to the school our students would love to have lunch buddies in the elementary and middle schools they eat lunch every day between the hours of 10 30 10 45 and one o'clock so you can go and enjoy lunch with a group of students mentor them share your experiences with them to help influence their character development our elementary students would also really enjoy reading buddies if you have that desire to pair up with a student or with a small group you can read to them or you can listen to them read and they really enjoy that activity as well if you're really interested in volunteering and mentoring students one-on-one -on -one, working with them on their academic development we'll be happy to purchase your background check price for you all you have to do is come to our school board office in the Henry County Administration Building and we can get your background check completed for free so that you can individually work with students and help enhance their instruction and the things that they learn throughout the course of the school year. All right, before we go tonight, any final thoughts from you guys, things that you would like to share with the community? Um. Okay. Go Warriors. <laughs> okay, go Warriors. That's good. Thank you all for joining us tonight. If you have questions of us, don't forget to use Let's Talk on the Henry County Public Schools website. You can attach your name and contact information to that question or concern that you share, or you can post anonymously, whichever you choose. Thank you for being with us. Hearing healthcare has changed forever. Life as you know it will never be the same. An all new approach will let you hear 30% better in difficult environments with all new patented technologies working in harmony with your brain. This new technology has created less effort, more recall, and a better ability to understand in difficult environments. This truly changes everything. Call us today for more information on these new technologies. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. Come on down to Los Nartanos, right next to the Dutch Inn. Great food, great prices, and you're always guaranteed to have a good time. So come on down to Los Nartanos, next to the Dutch Inn. There are many reasons to choose Monroe Muffler Brake and Service for all of your car's maintenance, repair, and tire needs. We work on your schedule with convenient evening, Saturday, and even Sunday hours. We've earned our customers' trust with over 50 years of guaranteed quality service. And one more popular reason is Monroe's oil change and more for only $19.99. Plus, we'll rotate your tires, check tire pressure, and inspect your brakes for free. Trust Monroe to keep your car and your family safe. For dealer quality service for less, it's Monroe Muffler Brake and Service. Hi, my name is Ronald Bennett. Hi, I'm Jordan Bailey. Hello, my name is Stan Leggis. And We're welcome, welcome to, to Family, Family Pharmacy. Pharmacy. We're located on 58 West outside of Danville at the Broswell Station. Over the past three years, I'd like to thank you for your business and your support. And in the next years to come, we we'll look forward to helping you and serving you in the future. Please stop by and let us take care of all your pharmacy needs or you can give us a call at 434-685-1509.
ticking. The countdown is on for you to drive home a winner at Blue Ridge Nissan in Martinsville. During the Drive Home a Winner event, take advantage of savings like up to $5,000 off a new robe. That's up to $5,000 off a new robe. You'll get top dollar for your trade. Plus, we offer our exclusive warranty forever. Get the deal of a lifetime for a limited time only. During the Drive Home a Winner event, Blue Ridge Nissan in Martinsville, your low price leader. Across from the Speedway on Greensboro Road. Also, shop with us online at the Blue Ridge Way. Papa's 